Southford and Appleton Local 5 News. Unraveled, Restructured, and Revealed is the theme for the Trout Museum's new exhibit. Curated to give voices to those communities that are often overlooked. 61 artists and over 300 pieces are featured in this exhibit. Some from Northeast Wisconsin, some coming from as far as Ghana. The exhibit covers a wide range of topics, social justice, pop culture, identity politics, to everything in between. For the museum, now is the time to make sure all artists have a space in a field that is predominantly white and male dominated. Visitors getting a glimpse into people from a variety of different cultures, genders, and lives. At the Trout Museum, art and diversity are combining. Eric Richards, Local 5 News in Peshtigo, talking about the referendum on the ballot on April 6th, the school district is asking the community for just over $33 million. That money will go towards remodeling and upgrading the middle school and the high school with some much needed upgrades like ADA compliance, heating and air conditioning. They're also asking the community for $1.825 million. That will take a property that is just next to the elementary school that they already own and turn that into a green space. And they're even even thinking about putting in a walking trail for everyone in the community to enjoy. Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News in Green Bay. UW System President Tommy Thompson made a passionate plea on the UW Green Bay campus asking for more funding for the school system. He made his case to the state Senate Budget Committee. Thompson cited the system's coronavirus response as indicative of the immense resource the schools are to the state. At campuses across the state, COVID testing and vaccinations are underway. And the system aims to be at 75% in-person learning in the fall. I'm Chris Schuler, Local 5 News along the Bay of Green Bay. This body of water is the world's largest freshwater estuary. And an effort is underway to declare it a national research reserve. UW Green Bay is working with local and national organizations to gain the recognition from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Doing so would mean significant dollars in federal and state funding each year for water research, education, and much more. It would also include a state-of-the-art visitor center.